or want to learn how to paint realistic trees, look no further. Follow me on my journey to learn realistic trees. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's good to have you back if you are a subscriber and returning viewer and if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always great to expand the family. Okay, enough singing. So today I want to show you how to paint realistic trees and um, by following other people's techniques and I'll show you which person I've been following for this particular painting. And um, yeah, just stay tuned. I'm going to be going through a bunch of stuff with you. And uh, yeah, you may want to sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or tea and uh, come along the journey. As usual, the colors will be found in the description. So if you're wondering what colors I'm using, they will definitely be found there. If you want me to uh, actually put them on the screen as I mix things, let me know and I can incorporate that into my videos in the future. Okay, so my first thing here is to kind of do the block in, although I didn't do this block in the way that uh, the person did that I'm kind of following. I just wanted to use this brush. I was itching to use it, so here we go. I just decided to pick it up and use this to uh, kind of block in my color. Did you catch it? You see what happened there? Yeah. Kind of a happy accident. Somewhat. But uh, stay tuned to see how I'll fix this, because that was not supposed to go there. I did not really want to have anything in between those trees, but I guess now I'm going to have to do something about it. Now, <clears throat> I will be fast forwarding a bit in this video because even the groundwork took me quite a bit of time and a lot of the stuff I'm doing is like the same thing over and over again. See, this is what I did earlier, but just with a different color. I'm going to have to do it on the other side as well. And yeah, I kind of covered that up with, um, you know, a little bit of a background. And then here I'm going in with some lighter colors because I did want to create a bit of a fall type feeling. Now here I'm going to introduce the artist that I love. His name is Michael James Smith. You can find him on YouTube. British artist. And this is what he does in his paintings after he blocks in the color. He goes in with a darker color and just kind of stippling all over the place. And rinse and repeat. It's a lot of repetitive and the same thing. Now when you do this, don't have too much on your brush. Okay, it has to be pretty darn light. I'm also going in with a different kind of color on that middle type brush tree, whatever that's going to be at this point, I'm not sure yet, but it creates a nice little texture. Going on to the line brush and I am putting in branches. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I have a video way, way back when where I said, don't add branches after you put in like the green stuff. But I'm following actually, you know, this other artist, like I mentioned earlier, Michael James Smith. And um, he kind of does this as well in his painting. So I'm just kind of trying something new and just going with it. But I was a wee bit nervous doing this because I haven't had great success doing it, but 
I'm just, just gonna, you know, go into new territory, learn new things, and try to find my groove. I've already done the other side, it's the same thing, and now I'm onto the little tree slash bush creation in the middle. And I'm just adding in, you know, like a kind of a brown, darkish brown type color. Putting some random branches in, making it more look like a tree slash bush, whatever you want it to be. Baby tree, I don't know. Here comes the technique that Michael uses in his paintings. You use a fan brush and the corner of it, put paint on it, and put tiny little dots basically on your painting. So I go over the entire tree with the same technique. And I will be changing the angle of the brush here and there, and you'll see me do it. Even though I'm fast forwarding through it, you will see me change the angle of the brush so you don't, don't have like the same type strokes over and over again. This creates a lot more diversity. And then on to the other side. And I must say that I kind of went in on the other tree um, a little bit too dark of a color. Again, I tend to forget acrylics dry <laughs> darker. I don't know why I keep thinking, oh, that's a beautiful shade. Let's use it. And instead of adding a little bit more white so that it's actually brighter, I forget. I get excited about the color, put it on the canvas, it dries, and then I go like, oh, whoops. I switched brushes for this part because I thought, well, you know what, let me try with a different brush. If it's just the corner work of the brush, I could probably use um, a flat brush. And I thought, well, let's just see what kind of effect that gives. So that's why I switched over to this brush. And because I wanted this middle tree to be a lot more fall-like, we're going in with orange. Well, or a blend of different colors, really. This is not just a plain pumpkin orange that I use. Uh, like I said, colors are down in the description, so... And you know what? And when it comes to colors and mixing and blending, just do your thing. Blend away until you've got what you need for your painting. And even if you make a mistake, whatever, that's how you learn. That's how I learn. And back in with the lighter color because as you can see this dried pretty dark you can barely see the strokes that I put on there so <laughs> we'll have to go back in I had to kind of redo this process a few times just because I was I guess a little too you know guarded or maybe not quite sure or just not really thinking ahead whatever it was I had to get back in with a lighter color Now, I don't claim to be an expert when it comes to painting trees. I learn as I go and I just want to tag you along for the journey so that you feel like, hey, I can do this because I am kind of messing about at times too. And uh, yeah, that's how things become better, right? You cannot just like be perfect coming straight out of the gates, I think. So I changed over to my um, liner brush to get in the finer details. Also just to get a slight different, slightly different texture in the leaves so it is not all looking exactly the same.
highlights. And I must kind of warn you that I lost a little bit of footage. So I don't know what happened. I either did not push the button or it just did not convert into the right color balance. I don't know what's going on sometimes. So what I did was take a picture of the end result after I added shadows back into the tree. And I'm pretty, pretty satisfied at this point with how this tree is looking. So let's, uh, let's move on to the other part of the painting. So fast forward a little bit because it's the exact same technique. I'm just using slightly different colors because I wanted this tree to look a li little bit more fall-like and just have different colors on the canvas rather than all the same looking green trees. And here I go in with darker color to just add the shadow back in after I added a bunch of highlights. So I did this on the one side, but you didn't see me do it. So yay, we do have footage of me doing it on the other side of the canvas. So yay, count yourself lucky I didn't lose this footage. It's just random placement of a darker color. I don't really think too much about it, but if there is are spots that are like one kind of solid color that I'm thinking, oh man, this looks too flat, that's when I add some of the darker color and this is not black guys i don't really go in with black black much i try to always blend a different kind of color into it so there's your little tip of the day And then time for a pop of color. Oh my gosh, this was so exciting. And I used a fan brush, but this is a bigger fan brush and I used a slightly different technique. So I did use just the corner for the top part or the canopy of the tree. And then I started to use like more of like maybe a quarter of the brush to get like some bigger strokes in to fill this in a little bit faster. And yeah, or fast forwarding as well, because it's basically the same thing over and over again. Man, become friends with your fan brush, okay? It's, it's my best friend, obviously. And then going in with a bit of a lighter color, adding a bit of highlight. Basically the same thing that I just did, but with a slightly different color. And oh my gosh, I was getting so excited because these colors really, 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 really started to pop. Time to add some yellow and I need to get another yellow in my collection of good paints here because this yellow is nice but it's a bit cool and I want a warmer yellow so or maybe I should just get like ochre and mix it in with the yellow that I have I don't know any tips on yellow leave them in the comments and with the same technique I go back in and add some shadows because then all of a sudden the other colors really pop shadow will bring you know that color will go to the back a little bit the brighter color will come to the front and it looks more and more like a tree and here is some bonus material because the trees are done and that's what I wanted this to be like is about the tree. And now you get to watch me struggle with grass <laughs> because I am not really good with grass. Watch the same artist and some other people on YouTube as to how they do grass. But I have a lot to learn still. So, yeah, sit back and relax and watch me kind of fill this in. And definitely open to tips here because, yeah, mm, I was kind of not really liking how this was turning out but hey like i said it's a learning journey right and that's how you learn so eventually i figured out okay flicking up seems to be working the flick up of the brush 
And at the same time, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted this to look like. I, by the way, this whole painting done without a reference photo, just whatever came to mind and just went with it. So the next painting, you will see me work on the water and the reflection, because what it is right now, it's pretty atrocious. I don't like it at all. So we'll work on that in the next painting. Stay tuned for that one. And for whatever reason, I lost footage again. I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, wait, I do know what happened. I forgot to hit the record button. Good job, girl. Anyway, if this is what you would like to see in the future, let me know. Uh, if you have other suggestions, let me know. In the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Stay happy. Keep your peace. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.